All right. Good day, everyone. Uh, this is going to be uh, one last video before a little break because I'm going on course. My stuff is getting packed, so uh, I don't know when's going to be my next time that I'll have time to play with project. But I've put together today a little thermometer with an at tiny and I've used an RGB LED so there's a little sensor here and it's a DS18B something there's uh, two types of sensor and uh, I was curious of how small I can do a thermometer that can tell me the temperature in degrees Celsius uh, and gives me a rough idea by displaying a color representing some kind of a reference and the schematic for those who are curious is actually very very simple my push button here uh, well I'll explain it later uh, what it does uh, there's my sensor here it needs a 10k pull-up resistor I actually put the 6.5 K and it works just fine my RGB LED and I've limit the the milliamps to 10 milliamps because it is extremely bright and then when looking at it directly right now it's not too bad because uh, it's working in um, software pulse width modulation I, I've set up some range of temperatures and stuff like that if I actually touch the, the sensor it takes a reading every 30 seconds because well temperature does not change that much in that range in a short range of time so since it's uh, minimizing the um, refresh rate and every time it blinks it actually refresh the dis it, it reads the temperature and then it displayed it I'm not gonna wait till the next refresh and the push button well it's good to know a uh, basic references of what's the temperature like I've set up uh, pure green is between 18 and 22 degrees Celsius and then as it goes colder it goes it tends to go blue more to the blue and as it goes higher it goes to uh, the red but it's fun to know how exactly what's the what's the temperature so I had the little function that it blinks the temperature so that's 20 and that's about 27 I kind of I don't know why I it counts quite fast but so yeah it's a little uh, toy that I'm probably gonna have it displayed somewhere just to know the brief temperature idea so let's put that one aside and for a little more interesting one I have this one I've ordered a little uh, temperature and humidity sensor and I made myself a little thermometer and a hygrometer displays humidity and temperature and this one has a push button <clears throat> that will also uh, cycle through function like I've added the function to for the heat index but I still need to work on, on it it doesn't work quite well so I'll need to check the formula for that and then there's a dew point which was already in the library for the sensor and then a little cycle function which will cycle between all the display the heat index the dew point and then return back to the first one so uh, this was actually a little uh, fun little one fun little bu uh, building I still have to do some uh, cleaning on the PC board and I'll probably uh, box it up and leave it as it is uh, the screen was actually uh, more expensive than I expected it's about like five dollars for a little screen like that which uh, I could you could have used the uh, Nokia LCD and displayed it all the info on one screen but for the size of it it's not too bad and it was an experiment and I'm, I'm using a little uh, Arduino uh, mini pro on it and the other one is kind of a uh, ISP programmer for programming my at tiny 
and as well as all the pin necessary to program other thing via ISP because I found out that the little uh, the Arduino Pro Mini I can't actually program it with my IDE pr uh, programmer I don't know why so I actually have to go by ISP and I made myself a little uh, thing so I can clip on my breadboard and it's just it, it, it basically sits on my uh, Arduino Uno let's see if I can remove it without scrapping anything there's not much to it since the, the Uno board kind of do everything and in the programmer there's a three, three LED that will display the status of uh, the program in the Atmega there's a breeder which will fade on and off I set it out to the green LED and then the uh, data transmission which I set, out, set up on the green LED and there's an error function which has been set up on the red one so uh, normally I don't want the red to be light up but it happens sometimes so uh, here it goes those this is well probably my last video for a little while uh, if I can well I'll probably try to make some project on my course so uh, who knows alright thanks for watching